Gamer 7 and welcome back to another Pokemon 2 Sim Create a Sim video here. Um, this one is for the Pokemon Bellossom. I think I said that. Bellossom? Yeah. Bellossom? 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 It's so close to the actual name Blossom that I, I want to automatically say that. But anyway, uh, it is her turn to be turned into a Pokemon. Now, one thing I didn't mention with um, ones previous to this, which there wasn't too many previous to this, is that when it came to the um, genders of the Pokemon, I just sort of did whatever I felt went. I know some Pokemon technically, like if you actually look it up, some of them have a higher chance of being a male versus a female. Some are half and half. Yada, yada, yada. I didn't really pay attention to that. I, you, I, some of the things that I took in is like overall looks, the name, like does it sound more like a girl name, more like a boy name. And I know some names can be gender neutral and all that sort of stuff. But, you know, I just sort of took those things and tried to sort of go from there to decide the gender. And there were some of them that automatically just seeing how the Pokemon looked, I was like... I think I could do something really awesome for this sim as a female or as a male. You know, those sorts of things. So, that's something I meant to mention before. But anyway, now let's get on to Blossom here. So, um, Blossom is... eyebrows and sometimes they do have the same eyebrows but for some reason it's like no nah, I'm gonna give you totally different eyebrows anyway so yeah but um one of the things Blossom is known for is her dancing so I did try to keep that in mind while um making her I did want to put the red because she has like a two little red flowers on her hair on her head I did want to try to get red hair to represent those two flowers and I thought pigtails especially would be sort of better because she ha does have those two flowers sitting on top of her head almost like you know pigtails or two buns or whatever so I was trying to get something like that going on I decided that these pigtails were really really cute on her and I don't really know my deciding because of the freckles I think part of my reasoning behind it is because of the flower pollen for some reason you know I thought maybe the freckles sort of could represent that I just decided the freckles worked and I thought it was cute and I really like it I, I will say making some of the sims that I did decide to make as kids made me challenge myself because I don't have a lot of stuff for kids compared to my teens and up and sometimes you know like, I know little kids are not supposed to wear, like, well, they're not necessarily not supposed to wear it, but they don't really wear makeup unless they're, like, in beauty pageants or something like that. But sometimes I use the makeup not as necessarily as actual makeup. Sometimes people just have naturally rosy cheeks or something like that. And, like, especially for little kids, I think it would be cute. So, but I don't have many options when it comes to that things. And some of my skin details, I don't have as many skin details for kids. So, it was a little bit harder to do these as... Um, kids the way that I wanted to and the way I like to but I still am happy with how she turned out I'm happy with how all of them turned out that yeah there are some that I'm more excited with than others but um, I do still like how they all turned out so in the end it all came out good but 
as you can see with Blossom here, I did give her a skirt because she looks like she has a little hula skirt. So her shirt and her skirt technically represent the colors of that little hula skirt thing, but also Blossom is mostly green. But I didn't want to go literal with the green skin color. There may be a few sims in the future Pokemon to cast that you see that I may have went a little bit more towards that literal skin tone. But for most of them, I did not. So, yeah. But I did try to give her a few little bracelets here and there to sort of give her some colors and things like that. The screenshots should be showing up here in a second. But I did stick with mostly the greens and the yellows with her with the red hair sticking out brightly. Really liked the overall finish of her. I think she is really cute and adorable. I think she is one of the cuter, like one of the cutest of the kid sims in this series. Let me know what you think about her down in the comments below. Hit that lovely like button if you enjoyed this video and liked how she turned out as well. Make sure that you're also subscribed so you can see future Pokemon to cast episodes. Also, um, turn on that little notification bell so you're notified when another video goes live and all that good stuff. All my Sims 4 um, playlists will be down in the description below, including the Pokemon to cast one. So if you've missed some of the previous ones, you can click on that and go check those out there. I will have all of my the sites that I use to go frequently get my CC also down in that description below as well as my social media so you can go follow me on those and thank you so so much for watching I'll see you in the next one bye bye